this uh, 15 gallon Cherimoya. I have to say, I am completely biased on the Cherimoya. Cherimoya to me is just one of the most delicious fruits there ever is. I mean, it, the, my mouth waters at the slight aroma of Cherimoya and it costs a fortune. It's probably the most expensive fruit you can find um, for what you get at a farmer's market or a grocery store. These trees are not fruiting yet. They'll probably begin fruiting next year. These are seedling grown. We do have grafted cherimoya. I have to say, I don't know what the difference is. Obviously there is a difference in grafted and seedling, but these seedling trees far and away blow out the quality of growth on the uh, grafted trees that we have available. And I do know these produce really, really well. There's a couple farms locally that use these. They get excellent production. So anyways, you have these um, seedling grown cherimoyas in 15s. You can tell very good trunk caliper. Excellent foliage. It's a little breezy today, a little bit of ocean breeze coming in. Uh, it is a particular, let's see a good one, here it is. Cherimoya on the tips have the distinct habit of looking like they're wilting. Um, they are normally flaccid, not erect on the tips. Whoop. Doing that, you know, it's just the normal growth. It's not heat stress, not dying off, not wilting off. It's just flaccid, for lack of a better uh, term. And don't expect your cherimoya tips to be stoutly or erect. There's another one. Just a particular thing of cherimoya tips. Obviously, Cherimoya has a very limited growing area, and you should not try and plant this in inland areas that are subject to freezing, unless you have a very good plan for the winter or you have a greenhouse. Anyway, 15 gallon Cherimoya.